so guys in this video we are going to learn how we can send emails with the help of node.js so i have a basic node.js uh, application open here and i also have my gmail account that is open here so what we are going to do in this video is we will try to connect this gmail account and access it with node.js application and use that gmail account to send unlimited amount of emails with the help of code using node.js stay tuned till the end of the video this to send is emails with node.js we are going to need a package that we have to install in this application that is node mailer so we are going to use a basic npm command to install node mailer into this application that is npm install node mailer and press enter so now the node mailer package has been installed into this application the next thing we are going to do is import it into our application import node mailer from node mailer by using this node mailer package i'm going to create a variable that is transporter and this transporter is a variable that we are going to use to send emails with the help of node mailer package so here we basically we, what we are defining is we are defining that the host or a service that we are going to use to send emails is going to be gmail.com so this host is going to be smtp.gmail.com and the port that we have to use is always 587 secure can be false and here under the authentic basically we have to use the username and the password of our email that we are going to use because we have to keep this information secure so we are going to use email underscore user and email underscore password variables in the dot env file not directly in the code so i'm going to create file here that is dot env and in this file i'm going to create two variables that is email underscore user so we'll paste it here and and email underscore password and we are going to paste another variable here so as of now i'm keeping this empty we'll look at how to get a username and password from our gmail account so here the catch is that the username is basically going to be the email that you will be using to send emails but the password is going to be something different it's not a usual email password we are going to use here we have to go and create a password for this node.js application in our gmail email account so we'll see in a minute how to do that so as of now just understand this transporter variable so now let's go to the gmail account and figure out this username and password that we are going to put in dot env file so here is my gmail account uh, our username is basically going to be the email that we are going to use to send email so i'm just going to copy this email and put it in my email underscore user save it and for the password basically we have to create a password so we We'll go to our gmail account and then manage your google account so this will open a dashboard where you can go to security and in security you have to go to two-step verification so you have to enter your password again just to confirm that it's you making the changes this is for uh, security purposes once you have done that you will see in the two-step verification window you'll scroll down and you should be able to find something called app passwords so app passwords is a place where you can create password for your node.js application so your node.js application will be able to access your gmail account and send emails with the help of this password so i'm going to name this app as test app create so once you create you should be able to see the password here you have to copy this password you won't be able to see this password again so before you click on done just copy this password so now we'll go back to our node.js application under the password i'm going to put this password so now let's save it and go back to server.mjs because we are using dot env file in this application so we are going to need another package so we can access these variables into our server.mjs file and that package is going to be dot env so i'm going to run a command to install this package and the command is going to be npm install dot env so now we have a dot env package in this application i'm going to import dot env from dot env and to access these variables with this commands like process dot env dot email underscore user all i have to do is i have to say dot env dot config and this package helps us to access all the environment variables into our server.mjs so now basically we have the transporter 
we have all the environment variables that is our username and password to our email so basically now we are ready to send emails through this application so all we have to do is use this transporter variable so i'm going to say transporter dot send mail and in this function i'm going to pass an object and this object is basically going to have some key value parameters that is from from is the email id from which we are sending the email uh, so this is going to be my email id which i'm using to send emails and then we have to pass an email where we are sending the email to so we can i am i'll be using my another email to send email from this so this is my another email and here i can also pass the subject of the email the subject is going to be hello this is test email and under the body of the email i'm going to pass a value that is html and here i can pass this is my first email that i am sending with node.js so this is the basic configuration that we are going to use to send emails so now what we can do is we can our application is already running so i can save this and i'll go to my email to see if i have received the email from my node.js application so here you can see that i have received an email which says hello this is test email and this is my first email that i'm sending with node.js so now we can see that this email is coming from my another email id so to improve this email we can do one more thing so in the prompt i'm going to say i'm going to wrap this email in this format and i'm going to say my channel name here and now i'm going to send this email again so now let's go back and see if i've received the email so now you can see that my second email has come like this it has come with the name of name that we want to assign and then there is email id so this looks better in the inbox let's change the subject and try again so i'm going to say this is improved version of emails so let's send this again so now you can see that this is how we are going to receive an email so it's the last time we received an email with this with the with our email username but this time we have a name that's assigned to this email so there are few things you can do to improve this email for example in the html i have just passed one line of text but sometimes we need to send a long email which is properly designed in html so what you can do on your own is design an email using html template and pass the entire html here uh, with all the html tags that you can use to design the email so guys the last and very important topic that we are going to cover in this project is what if i want to send a bulk emails as of now we have learned how to send an email to one single email id but what if i want to send to let's say hundreds of email ids like a bulk email so in that case what i can do is in the to section i can separate as many emails as i want with the help of semicolon so there will be like first email then semicolon and then second email so i'm i'm going to put a uh, two emails here but you can uh, put as many emails as you like just separate all the emails with a semicolon so we are going to test this on two emails so i'm going to save this again to send this email so now we'll go to our email ids that i have sent email to so let's go to the first email and refresh it so here in the email i can see that i have received on my first email let's go to the second email now so on the second email if i refresh it so i've received it on the second email as well so this is how we send the bulk emails using node mailer so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching